Hi, good evening all. I believe all of you are enjoying our discussion and doing the practice accordingly. So previous weeks we discussed about how to make the sentence complex compound and speak out a story, uh, then segregate the case note. So today we are going to discuss about the body paragraph followed by writing. The same case note, Lionel Tamamurti. Thank you, OET, for allowing us to take this case note for the study and teaching purpose. Before going that, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Father Salim Joseph, our great member. Give me this opportunity to share my learning experience. And thank you all admin panel members and thank you, dear friends. <music> Welcome all of you to today's discussion. So OET 2.0 writing purpose and body paragraph. So here we know the previous uh, class also my colleague said about the chronological and the thematical order. I hope you know about that one. So I'm not going in details of that one. Here in the writing, there are mainly three types of case, uh, case notes, transfer, discharge and referral letter. Referral letter most probably it is a unknown case. The transfer and discharge letter either known or unknown case but the OET it will clearly mention or there will be a clue about the case not known or unknown case if it is a known case for example the reader reader address and patient at GP patient GP etc it means it's a known case but if it's a local GP or community name it doesn't mean known case let's read the case not thoroughly for the writing there is total of 45 minutes the first five minutes do not allow to use pen or pencil this is for only reading time. Then after the five minutes, we can use the pencil. It's better to take a five more minutes to mark the key point or if you want to write a short notes. So take five minutes. By practice, try to write within 30 minutes. And then there will be five minutes remaining for the proofreading. Proofreading is most important in writing. That time we can find out if there is any minor mistakes or spelling mistakes, anything. And this language is under one of the criteria of OET then spelling mistakes or it will be analyzed so do not make any spelling or uh, punctuation mistake so now we are going to start from the its bar method we are following so my name is Nimi I am one of the OET aspirants and admins in age skill international this its bar method father taught us very beautifully so all of them requested to watch the video in our YouTube channel this is bar method I stands for introduce and identify, which includes purpose, purpose paragraph. Then the S stands for situation. What is the situation of the patient today? Then the B, background. What happened during previous hospitalization? Medical history and medication. And if it is a known case, there is no need to write the irrelevant data. As we know, our case note, Lionel Damavoti, it is. Then A, it stands for assessment. Assessment means what you think happening overall based on symptoms, investigation, results, diagnosis. Then the R, request. What is the next health professional to do? This one we have to organize letter wisely and according to the reader and the case note. Then move on to the purpose paragraph. For the purpose paragraph, what we have to visualize before writing the purpose paragraph. There were a four picture father taught us. This four picture. So this first three picture first one and second one bicycle two wheel and third one auto rickshaw three three wheel and the fourth one airavada so delete first visualize only for the fourth one this fourth one airavada this is for the a grade introduction as we know airavada four wheel there will be a four question who where what contest and for what so this four answer will be the a grade introduction so always visualize airavada and write the purpose according to the four questions. How, how to frame a question? The first one, who need assistance? Second, from who he requires assistance? Third, which issue need assistance? And fourth, in what context assistance is required? Here in this case note, who need assistance? Mr. Layona Gamamurthy needs assistance. Mr. Layona Gamamurthy requires assistance at your community retirement. Home. Third one, which issue needs assistance? Mr. Ramamurthy requires ongoing care and monitoring following pneumonia. Fourth one, in what context assistance is required? Mr. Ramamurthy requires assistance upon discharge. So combine this four sentence and write 
this will be the introduction part so there are some examples of introduction first one i am writing to update you on the current health status of mr lionel damomurthy who is recovering from pneumonia coma and requires your continuing care and monitoring upon discharge flexibility is the key point of writing so do not copy write your own sentence the second one mr lionel damomurthy requires your ongoing care and monitoring following a bout of pneumonia he is being discharged back into your care, care tomorrow so here i am writing to update so because this is a known case and here back into your care this means also known case then the official site mr lionel damomurthy was admitted on 4 february 2019 having contracted pneumonia he is now ready for discharge back into your care tomorrow these are the three examples of introduction paragraph so you can try to write your own sentence here maybe you may have doubt about a bout of pneumonia so which means a bout of this is a bout it is a count of it so we can use it article which means a period of time during which someone suffers from something exam such as illness or disease example a bout of fever a bout of flu or she struggles with frequent bouts of depression so i use there a bout of pneumonia i hope it's clear to you move on to the first body paragraph and here the oet recommend that send an uh, word 180 to 200 words if you write more than 200 it means you don't know how to organize the letter very well if beyond 180 words it means did not understand the case note so it's try to write between 180 to 200 words and there is a no fixed paragraph so you can organize the case note very well it there is a introduction and requestion paragraph must there and the body paragraph 2 3 4 there will be no problem the first body body paragraph here also the questions we have to ask the question the first one who was admitted mr ramamurthy was admitted where was he admitted he was admitted to newton public hospital when did he got admitted he was admitted on 4 february 2019 why did he got admitted he was admitted due to pneumonia then what are the associated conditions on admission so this one we can see on our case nia wheezing vigor sleeplessness generalized ache and a fever and he had chest and abdominal pain due to a persistent cough then we can see there his mobilization also he was ambulated to a short distance with a pickup frame and required assistance with daily living so here i i uh, the change color newton public hospital it's no need to mention the hospital name either you can mention or not mention there will be no problem then this one he was ambulated to a short distance in the following paragraph is there any sentence you can frame together you can use it there this one example the first paragraph as you aware mr damamurthy was admitted on 4 february 2019 having contracted pneumonia he experienced dyspnea generalized a and fever he had chest and abdominal pain due to a persistent cough here i wrote as you aware because this is a known case sometimes you may confuse this all the things the reader knows so how i will write what things i am uh, i am going to write so here also in this case pneumonia reader knows that one so in this situation do not stuck for particular sentence or way that then you can use as you are aware then you can continue to write the second on 4 february 2019 he was admitted with the complaints of dyspnea wheezing rigid sleeplessness generalized ache and fever he experienced chest and abdominal pain due to a persistent admission he was experiencing fever and rigid he suffered dyspnea wheezing and sleeplessness he had chest and abdominal pain due to pro prolonged persistent coughing so here fever and a fever fever is a countable that's why we can write it a fever or fever move to the next paragraph second paragraph what happened during hospitalization how was the problem treated 
and how was the main issue treated how is the condition now these are the question you can ask or you can ask the question according to uh, your knowledge so or watch father's video thoroughly so you have an idea about how to frame each question and ramamurthy inflammatory markets become normal he is more independent he can now walk slowly without assistance take a shower and use the toilet independently he has commenced chest physiotherapy including deep breathing and coughing exercise so this one in the, my previous slide i mentioned this one on the admission time he was ambulated to a short distance and now he can walk slowly without assistance so in the paragraph while i'm writing i used to combine these two sentences so here initially mr ramamurthy was ambulated to a short distance with a pickup frame and required assistance with daily living he can now walk slowly without assistance shower and use the toilet independently he has commenced the chest breathing and coughing exercise which need to be continued so here he has commenced to physiotherapy if we are using commenced on medication it needed there is a fixed preposition on for example he was commenced on paracetamol so but in the physiotherapy no need to write the preposition on this official site the second paragraph they wrote after a week in hospital he has stabilized and his breathing problems are now resolved however he still experiences some chest and abdominal pain with a dry cough his nursing management in hospital initially consisted of a walking frame and assistance with showering and dressing mr ramamurthy is to walk about slowly without assistance and shower and use the toilet independently so here you can see assistance with if we are writing anywhere the assistance something the with is with fixed preposition for assistance so assistance with next is third paragraph here the question how is his general condition now does any semi relevant data reader need or what are the things need to be continued so here in the assessment case note we can read he has made a good recovery and the, my previous slide mr ramamurthy's inflammatory markets become normal actually this is if we we can combine it in a one sentence then he has some chest and abdominal pain due to a dry cough and encourage him to ambulate regularly he has gained weight by dietitian input and he would rather sit than lie down to ensure postural drainage so combine this all sentence and make a one paragraph here is the example mr ramamurthy has made good progress semicolon however he still has some chest and abdominal pain due to a dry cough here if there is no semicolon you can write it good progress full stop then however comma the remaining sentence and he was advised to walk regularly and instructed to sit rather than lie down to ensure postural drainage kg with dietitian input so here has made good progress and in previous slide has a good recovery so if we are writing recovery it's need article but if you are writing progress no need to put article then the official side paracetamol may be administered as needed if chest and abdominal pain persistent and mr ramamurthy should be kept warm please encourage oral fluids and ensure that he sit up rather than lies down whenever possible to ensure postural drainage he should ambulate regularly and continue with deep breathing and coughing exercise then moving on to the final paragraph preposition paragraph which means what is expected of the reader that is what is our request to administer paracetamol if he has persistent chest and abdominal pain then keep warm encourage mr ramamurthy to take proper nutrition such as more eggs fruits and vegetables and drinking more fluids and monitor his diet the fourth paragraph it would be appreciated if you could encourage mr ramamurthy to take proper nutrition such as more eggs fruits and vegetables 
and drinking more fluid here this unknown is x fruits vegetables and drinking more fluid and he needs monitoring of his diet please administer parallel pain kindly provide a warm environment for him then the official said mr ramamurthy was very weak on admission to hospital but has gained weight with dietitian input he will need ongoing monitoring of his diet here if you want to split the sentence you can this one it would be appreciated drinking what in this sentence drinking more fluid and if you want to split the sentence make a full stop and can here please note that he needs monitoring of his diet if you want you can write it like that according to your word count so i hope all of you have clear how to frame a question in each paragraph and i to how to write the sentences yes nimi